As a video editor, it's very important for you to understand the difference between square pixels or full raster image and anamorphic, which is a squished image. Now square pixel or full raster image means that the image is in its full width and its full height. For high definition, this generally means 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high, or for 720p HD, 1,280 pixels wide by 720 pixels high. This is full raster, full width, and full height of the image. Now most cameras, however, shoot in what's called anamorphic format. The footage is the right height, but is squished side to side. Now pay attention to the circle. You see how it's a perfectly round circle right now. Now let's switch over to anamorphic. And here's the anamorphic sizes. For 720p is quite easy. The anamorphic size is always 960 pixels wide, still 720 high. The image has been squeezed in. You can see our circle is now an oblong egg. For 1080i, 1080p, well, it depends on the camera manufacturer and the format being shot. Some camera formats are 1,280 pixels wide, while other formats are 1,440 pixels wide. My quick tip is to always set up your sequences in the full raster image size. So if you're working in 1080p HD, make sure your sequence is in full, 1920 by 1080. If you're working in 720p, make sure your sequence is in full, 1280 by 720. Why? So that all of your graphics that you create will look proper when they come into your sequence. Sometimes when you're working in an anamorphic sequence, you create graphics or other elements outside of the sequence and they don't look correct and you're not sure why. This is probably the reason why. So always force your new sequences to be full raster before you start to edit.